we don't have good blood flow to our legs and our feet, we wind up actually having serious problems with walking. Did you know that poor circulation in your legs can lead to numbness, fatigue, and even serious conditions like peripheral artery disease? But what if I told you that just one simple drink could help improve blood flow and keep your legs healthy? Dr. William Lee's research focuses on angiogenesis, the process of forming new blood vessels, which is critical for maintaining healthy circulation. His work shows that certain foods and beverages can activate our body's natural defense systems. I'm a medical doctor. I can tell you that I work in this space, vascular space of blood flow. And one of the things that we really focus on is making sure that all of our organs and all of our tissues, including the bones and muscles and skin of our legs actually have good blood flow. Improved circulation isn't just about avoiding leg cramps or fatigue. It's essential for delivering oxygen and nutrients to your muscles, enhancing endurance, and even supporting overall cardiovascular health. So what's the magic behind this drink? Let's break it down. We don't have good blood flow to our legs and our feet we wind up actually having serious problems with walking and it actually even gets worse. If we don't have enough good blood flow to our feet, actually the, our skin will actually open up and we'll actually have wounds uh, that can actually not heal, become infected, get gangrenous, and it can lead to amputation. Your circulatory system is like a highway, delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell in your body. But as we age, Factors like a sedentary lifestyle, high cholesterol, or diabetes can restrict blood flow, especially to the legs. This can lead to chronic leg pain, swelling, and even an increased risk of blood clots. So, think about what causes uh, poor blood flow uh, into your legs. Well, if you have narrowing of the arteries, atherosclerosis, due to uh, high blood cholesterol, high lipids, if you should have hypertension, high blood pressure, hardening of the arteries that comes from smoking and vaping, it, old and uh, damaged blood vessels uh, from conditions like diabetes, all of these things can actually compromise uh, blood flow to your leg. Cardiovascular health, having good heart health is the beginning of actually having good uh, circulation to your legs and frankly anywhere else in your body. Number one, having good uh, good heart leads to good blood flow. Having healthy blood vessels is really important and also having really good nerves uh, to your feet are also important as well. A lot of people don't realize this but if you think about it, our, the nerves on the bottom of our feet are absolutely critical for health. But my work in food is medicine, actually taking a look at what are the, some of the foods that we can eat to actually help support good circulation as well. Black tea, you know, Earl Grey, English breakfast tea. There's a lot of black teas that are out there. Fermented teas are also black. Now black teas um, are, are actually start out as green tea and then they're actually uh, oxidized until they turn black, and then they can actually be fermented as well. Now, black tea contains the same polyphenols, catechins, as green tea does. Maybe a little bit less because of the oxidation, but it's still there. And it turns out that the way, same way the green tea is useful because of these catechins and polyphenols, black tea is also useful. The magic of black tea lies in its flavonoids, particularly theoflavins and catechins. These antioxidants help keep your blood vessels healthy by reducing oxidative stress, lowering inflammation, and improving endothelial function, which is just a fancy way of saying they help your blood vessels expand and contract properly. Good circulation depends on flexible blood vessels when they become stiff or narrow. It can lead to issues like poor circulation, swelling, and even more serious conditions like deep vein thrombosis, DVT, or peripheral artery disease, PAD. Studies have been done in Italy of black tea and the impact of black tea on stem cells and vascular health. So they took older people uh, who had definitely bad circulation and gave them black tea, two cups to drink for a day for a month, and they actually measured in their blood their stem cells. And what they found is that black tea would actually cause stem cells to come flying out into their circulation. These are stem cells normally found in the bone marrow that would actually repair the circulation and improve circulation. 
Um, now, how do they know this? Because they did flow mediated dilation. They did that blood pressure test to see how well the blood vessels would rebound. And from compared to before black tea, and then until after a month of black tea, they saw tremendous improvement. Now, here's what they also did, these researchers. They added whipped cream into the black tea to see what would actually happen, all right? And guess what? The whipped cream, the high dairy, Dairy in, in milk or coffee will form little soap bubbles, and those soap bubbles trap the good stuff, they trap the polyphenols. So in the case of black tea, dairy fat, soap bubbles trap the catechins, the polyphenols. So when you drink the black tea, those soap bubbles roll down your gut, and, and you're not absorbing as much of the polyphenols, all right? You absorb some, but not as much, and that's exactly what they found when they had black tea and they added whipped cream to it. Probably tasted pretty good, honestly it actually lowered the amount of stem cells that came out. Stem cells didn't come out quite as frequently, all right? And so that just shows you you're not getting as many polyphenols. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why you don't want to use dairy uh, milk uh, in tea or coffee. It's the same thing will happen with coffee. Nut milk is fine. Oat milk is fine. Uh, soy milk is actually fine. Just don't use dairy milk. One of the key benefits of black tea is that it boosts nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is essential for relaxing blood vessels, which allows blood to flow more freely. Better circulation means more oxygen and nutrients reach your muscles, reducing fatigue and promoting overall vascular health. Research has even shown that people who drink black tea regularly experience better arterial function leading to improved blood flow, not just in the legs, but throughout the entire body. Yes. Another major benefit of black tea is its ability to help regulate blood pressure. High blood pressure can cause arteries to harden and narrow, making it harder for blood to flow properly. The natural compounds in black tea help relax blood vessel walls and improve their elasticity, which can lead to better circulation and a lower risk of cardiovascular issues. While black tea is a fantastic natural tool for better circulation, it works best alongside a healthy lifestyle. Regular movement, a balanced diet, rich in nutrients, and staying well hydrated all contribute to keeping your blood flow optimal. And of course, if you have any existing health conditions especially related to heart health, it's always a good idea to check with your doctor before making significant dietary changes. Dr. William Lee's research continues to show how everyday foods and drinks can support our body's natural ability to heal and function at its best. So why not take a small but powerful step toward better circulation? Brew yourself a warm cup of black tea and give your body the boost it deserves. So there you have it. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And let me know in the comments you drink black tea daily. What's your favorite way to prepare it? See you in the next video.